from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. Hello there, I'm Virginia Chow with this 10 News update. A man is in custody. He's accused of shooting his neighbor in the shoulder in North Park. Police say the man first called them last night to say a prowler was in his yard. Officers arrived, checked things out, and gave the all clear. Then, about four this morning, police say the man called again to say he had shot his neighbor who was outside smoking a cigarette. Police arrived and the neighbor was taken to a hospital. We're told he was shot with a pellet gun, but will be okay. Police arrested the man they say shot him, and it's not clear right now what charges he may face. A San Diego judge expected to decide today if another serial sex offender will be released into the rural East County. A judge is considering a state proposal to release Alan Earl James into Hakumba Hot Springs. James was convicted of multiple sex related crimes against children in the 80s. Survivors of his abuse say he should not be released. County Supervisor Diane Jacobs says nine out of 12 sexually violent predators have been released into the East County and now she is trying to change that. She sent a letter to the state attorney general asking him to investigate the conditional release program. Officials from Mexico and the U.S. holding a joint meeting aimed at strengthening the binational relationship on both sides of the border. They're discussing binational legislation, urban mobility. That event is sponsored by Sandag and it's in its 12th year. Senator Bernie Sanders making a stop in San Diego today. He's visiting California for the first time since launching his 2020 presidential campaign. Sanders is holding a rally at Waterfront Park tonight. The public is invited. Sanders will then head to San Francisco. All right, the weekend is upon us. Megan, go. Uh, I know, and we are done with the rain for today. We will see temperatures climbing still just above, uh, below, below normal, excuse me, this afternoon. Low to mid 60s at the coast, mid to a few upper 60s for inland neighborhoods. 50s and 40s in our mountains, really nice out in the deserts in the mid 70s. We'll see building sunshine into the afternoon with a very slight chance for a stray light shower tomorrow and warmer as we head into Sunday and early next week. Virginia. Thank you, Megan. For the latest news, weather and traffic, just go to 10news.com or you can download our free app from your app store. For 10 News, I'm Virginia Shaw.